What's going on clan? AD here. Welcome to Phantom Brigade. This is a new game I've been playing periodically uh, in my spare time. It's quite fun and I thought I would do a limited series on this uh, just to see what you guys think of it. I got this on the Epic Games Store. This game is a Epic exclusive I think for a year or so until they release on Steam. They do have a Steam profile page if you want to check it out. Uh, Phantom Brigade is developed by Brace Yourself Games, and this is a hybrid turn-based and real-time tactical RPG. So you basically uh, have these survivors uh, that pilot these mechs, and these survivors are the last remaining people of their home, and they're basically trying to take back their homeland from this uh, enemy faction that has taken it over. So you're you're basically tasked with taking over everything, uh, taking out the capital and taking out all the other regions and so forth and taking them, winning them back to your cause essentially. So you have just like a mobile base here uh, with a couple mech pilots and you're, you're basically on your own. I'm playing on the experimental branch so we'll be able to see some of the new changes that happen uh, periodically. They all, they also are releasing updates once a month one large update a month and then they also release updates every week so if you're on the experimental branch you can kind of see those new changes as they happen uh, each week uh, so they've already released four major updates so um, there's still a lot more to do I think that they're working on so right now we start out with a mobile base and we can actually move this base around and as you see it unpauses the game and I believe other enemy like the, the warring faction can actually uh, send units to attack you and take over, take back your uh, the cities that you have taken as well. So um, I haven't played too far into the game, but I know enough to, to kind of get started. So let's take a look here. This is our mobile base. We have two mechs right now, uh, Slepnir and Lance. Uh, Slepnir has assault rifle and a handgun. And then the Lance has a shotgun and a shield. We can also edit these too. We can change the library around. And uh, that's pretty cool. Like I like messing around with the library. But basically as you take over bases, you, you get equipment that you can use to upgrade your units. And um, so we got to scavenge for supplies as we take back our, our home. We've got some pilots here. We're starting out with, let's see, Joan, Ingrid, Sam, and Lars. Uh, this right here is fatigue. Um, as pilots uh, have victories, they become inspired, and then over time they start to fatigue until eventually they start going down neg into the negatives. So when we're in the negatives, we've got to be careful. We've got to switch out pilots um, and keep, keep some of those people resting. So that's going to be an important mechanic later on. Also have some inventory here. We don't really have anything yet, but once we get some parts, we'll be able to kind of sift through the parts. And then also a workshop where we can uh, build build more mechs once we get enough parts and supplies. So I'm a, big, I'm a big fan of Battletech, and this is kind of, I mean, it's not the same, but it's kind of in that mech universe, and I like that. We're going to move our mobile base over here. Let's see here, uh, the new beginning. It's time to take back our country. We should start with the mountain base, the last outpost that belonged to the Phantom Brigade. It should still have some spare supplies and parts to help us get back on our feet. All right. So it looks like there's, uh, if we take a look, there's two reserves here. So that means there's two, I think there's about two units. There's a, two parts and 150 supplies, and we'll get 50 hope on defeat. It also has a radar range, so each town, I guess, or whatnot, has different uh, ra radar range, so to detect enemy units and patrols coming in. Reclaim the base. Once a mining facility, the Felheim base was later retrofitted as an emergency mech storage depot built to supply the forces of the homeland should they need them. When the invasion began, uh, begun, the country was overrun too quickly for anyone that utilized it. This abandoned place could serve well 
to dispatch the enemy forces guarding it. With enough hope, the region is liberated. So, let's go ahead and suit up here. And there's not much to do, really, at the very first mission, so I'm just going to leave everything as is with... Uh, I'm going to take uh, Ingrid and Joan. Let's go ahead and deploy. Bravo 1, we're seeing two mech... Two mechs approaching from the west, requesting immediate support. I'm getting a negative response on my IF. F. Treat these people as... These walkers as hostile. Roger that. Okay. Got it. So, one of the really cool things about this that's a little bit different... I don't know if you guys are familiar with Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Uh, but in that one, it's kind of similar where you have a timeline where you basically... You uh, put down actions, and then you watch those actions take place in real time. And then you go to the next round, or the next turn. And then you make more actions and watch those happen. So, in Deadlock, though, you couldn't really see... I don't believe you could see where the, uh, the enemies were moving. But in this game, you can. It kind of gives you, like, a predicted movement of the enemy. So, as you can see, as I drag through the timeline... I can see that this tank is moving, it's going to be moving up this way, um, and this tank is moving over here, and then you can also see when they're going to be probably firing at you as well, based on where you are currently. So with that in mind, um, cover is important, we also want to use cover to our advantage. With our shotgun and shield person, we want to close the distance, so... We're going to want them to run as far as they can go. I'm going to try and put him put him right here. I'm also going to throw down a shield right about here. And protect against this tank just in case he starts firing. So uh, we can drop down a shield and it provides additional armor. Uh, based on kind of like the the arc that you're protecting against so it's if we choose to defend against this tank uh, And somebody's shooting us from this way, then we're probably gonna get hit in the right side That's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna fire because we're too far away to even I don't think we can land. Yeah so as you can see the the green is basically the uh, appropriate distance that you'd want to be at. And then as you start to move out further, uh, your chance to hit lowers. So, uh, And you also don't want to be too close with certain weapons. So either way, that's good for, for mech 1. And then mech 2, we're going to have him run. Let's see. I'm going to try to position him. You could also... Um, have your orders go into the next turn if you want, but I'm just gonna have him go like right about here for now. And let's see. I haven't noticed any sort of like ammunition issues. I don't know if that's gonna be if like ammunition's a thing. I don't think it is. But um, I'm just gonna start firing no matter what. Just because even if I do happen to hit this guy. Probably, probably not, but I don't see any negatives to it, so uh, that I can tell. I'm still new to this game, so we'll see. But yeah, I'll just try and try and fire along the way. All right, so let's go ahead and play this out. All right, so yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I did land a couple hits. All right, so he's gonna put up the shield now. Holy crap! This guy just jacked me, man. Whoa. This tank just hit me hard. So, over here on the left, you can kind of see, like, the integrity of your, your body parts of your mech. And, yeah, I took a little, uh, pretty big beating. Okay, let me see here. Well, first of all, we're gonna run. I'm gonna try to stay behind this building. But I'm gonna run past this tank. I'm also gonna start firing. No, not yet. Yeah, maybe right about there. No, let's drag it up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Right there. And we're going to keep attacking here. 
Yeah, we're gonna have some good hits on it. And you can also keep moving. There's no negatives to to stopping. So, I mean, well, I guess the only negative would be that you're out of range. Um, but you're harder to hit if you keep moving. So, you want to try to try to stay on the move if possible. Yeah, I'm just gonna go run back around this this little spot here. Yeah, let's let's try that. I'm also going to put up my shield at the beginning. Yeah. So it's going to be firing at me. Then I'll start firing. Yeah, as I come around. Boom, boom. Okay. And then for mech 2, let's see. We've got this tank here. I'm actually, I'm actually thinking about moving back a little bit here. And I'm just going to open fire. Also have an SMG, but the SMG is better at closer range, so I'm gonna stick with the the primary weapon here, assault rifle, I think. Yeah, and I'm just gonna start pegging this guy from right here. All right, and then I think I'll start running this way. Yeah, but I'm gonna wait. Oh wait, heat. High temperatures can damage the unit over time. It is important to space out attacks and other heat generating actions to give the unit time to cool down. Okay, so there is a heat mechanic. Ooh, okay, so let's let's cancel that. Wow, why am I heated up so much right here? Okay, damn. Alright, so I definitely messed up here because I didn't notice there was a heat mechanic. This is really cool. So we're gonna have to cancel this. And I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna risk this attack here. I'm gonna cancel the other one. All right, let's play that out. Oh, nice shots, good hits. Oh, hell yeah. All right, we got that tank. This one is still alive, uh, but there is also explosion damage, so you have to be careful. Like you don't want to be too close because you can you can get really messed up with explosion damage. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> All right, so this tank is going to be moving over here behind this building. I'm actually just gonna I'm gonna go right here and just start attacking. Okay, so you actually have to use a wait command. And then, yeah, so I want to use a wait command right about there and then start running. Cuz so I want to get behind this guy. Cuz you get uh you get more damage on a mech if you get behind them. So I'm going to try to try to wait. And yeah, oh no, I don't want to go that way. Yeah, so that mech is going to come in, and then I'm going to start moving around the building. So we're going to, <laughs> I'm going to try to sneak up behind him as he's trying to sneak up behind me. That's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully this tank focuses on our uh, our shield guy. Um, I might risk a little bit of overheating here, firing at it, but I'm going to try and do some damage to it. Okay, let's try this. Guy's got a shotgun. Okay, I'm going around behind it. I gave it a little bit of a concussion. I think with concussions, I'm not exactly sure if that lowers your accuracy. Uh, I haven't figured out what concussions do yet. I'll have to uh, research that. Uh, as you can tell, though, there's fully destructible environments. So the you can basically like blow up buildings and stuff. I, I really like that a lot. Okay, so we're gonna run around behind this guy, and I'm gonna unload my SMG on him, if possible. Oh, no, he's running too. Okay, I'm gonna try and sneak up. Oh wait, he's gonna turn around. All right, well, I'm gonna go up this way then. I'm gonna try and hit him with my SMG a little bit. I might hit him in the leg or something. And then, yeah, as I come around, right about there, start hitting him with the SMG again. 
And we gotta keep running, though. I'm gonna keep going this way. And hopefully, maybe I can hit him one more time with the SMG. Yeah, I might overheat a little bit there. Yeah, let me space that out a little bit. Actually, let me use this attack. Yeah, okay, we'll try that instead. Alright, and then our other mech, let's see, we need to get this tank down. I'm just gonna run right at it and start blowing it up. They must have just added this heat mechanic, because I don't remember seeing this before. Alright, so I'm gonna move over here and try to get behind that tank, and uh... I think they're going to be focused on my other mech. So, all right, let's see how this works. The only thing that uh, they're working on, hopefully, they said they're going to try and add it, is a replay mechanic so that you can actually, like, play out your entire battle uh, at the end or whatever. So I, I find that would be one of the most epic additions to this game because it's hard to tell, like, what you did focusing on one mech. And if you have four mechs... You're not going to be able to tell, like, who got hit where or what, so having a replay mechanic would be really cool to, like, see what happened and how you can improve. Alright, let's play this out. Oh, I missed! This with the SMG. Oh, I got him in the back. That was good shot right there. Okay, we just dealt a good blow to this uh, tank. Nice. Alright, this guy went back behind the building. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna have... Wait a minute. He's going up this way. Alright, I'm gonna meet him right here and just blow the crap out of him. A little too soon for that attack. I can get two shots on him right here. I'm gonna throw up a shield at the beginning just because... I don't want to, uh... I don't know if he's gonna attack me right there as he turns that corner. Okay, and then... Our other mech, let's see. Yeah, I want this guy to... I want to lead this guy... This way, so... I'm gonna... Kind of pull him... Pull him this way. Let's see, I'll attack from behind while I'm running. I'm gonna try to stay out of his range, but I'm gonna land. I'm gonna try to do two two attacks here and then get out of his range. He's gonna probably hit me right there, but then I'll be. As you can see, though, I am. I'm not in his um, his like really accurate spot, so the fall off for accuracy. I'm at the kind of ending point of that. So hopefully, we kill this guy. Let's try it. Oh yeah, two. Oh yeah, I crushed him, man. That was great. That was fun. Okay, damage taken four seventy seven, but we inflicted ten thousand or uh, one thousand twenty damage. We got sixty four supplies. Um, cool. Site loot breakdown. Okay, we destroyed two tanks and a Bravo mech, and we've got... Oh, we got four parts. So, we can use this salvage to uh, make new mechs, and we can swap out their parts later, so we can get, like, different mechs with different arms, different weapons, and all, and all kinds of things. This isn't just a handy base where you can recruit pilots and build smoke screens. You can also use the mountain base as your fallback fallback outpost when necessary if you lose all of your units and pilots at any point you can fall back to this base and rebuild retreating gives a new squad fitted with essential equipment at the same level as the highest level province you control okay so now that Fellheim has been liberated you should start making your way to the capital while liberating as many provinces as you can okay so i guess our goal is the capital so maybe you don't have to take over every other province so we can recover some equipment from combat units by salvaging but our base is going to be stationary during that time leaving it vulnerable to attack 
We have to swap out our units and pilots to make sure uh, that they're combat ready. You know, we got to make sure their fatigue is is high. Combat is tiring, so your pilots will always receive fatigue penalty post-battle. All weapons deal concussive and regular damage. Being attacked from the rear doubles the concussive damage for the pilot. So keep your tail covered and try to get behind the enemy. All right, let's go ahead and salvage. We can manure... Manufacture a smoke screen, which is negative 100 supplies. A smoke screen, I think, allows us to escape hostiles if we get attacked. I'm going to leave that for now. We're going to keep our salvage. So right now we're repairing units. We're stationary here. Time is passing, though. And, yeah, we're just going to let that go. Okay, salvage has finished. Um, I don't think we really have much to to outfit our people yet with different stuff. I think we have pretty much the same. And yeah, we've got another shotgun. And yeah, we got a couple, a couple arms and stuff components. So as you can see, Kilo and Te or uh, Ingrid and Joan had uh, lowered their fatigue a little bit. So we'll probably send Fox, uh, Lars and Sam. I'm getting these names confused, but Sam and Lars in there next. We could also build like one standard issue part or just a frame of a mech for 450 supplies. But if you want a a full mech with like standard issued parts, then you need 750 supplies. So we're at four 403 supplies right now. I'm going to wait until we hit 750 to build another mech. Alright, let's move out. Okay, we've detected something here. This is a station patrol. 297th army unit. Looks like there's two, two uh, patrol, two reserves. Yeah, two mechs and a tank. Maybe two tanks and two mechs. We also have another camp up here. Okay, let's take out the station patrol. It's a roaming squad. I guess these squads can move uh, over time. So this is where you can deploy, uh, deploy a smoke screen. Stun the enemy with a smoke screen. No, I'm going to just suit up. All right, let's go ahead and put in Lars and Sam. There we go. And so it looks like we can field up to four mechs at one in one squad, which is pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and deploy. Intercepted comm. Sierra 2 on the field. What's taking you so long? Surround them and finish them off. Okay. Um, so it looks like we have retreat possible in three turns. If things go to shit, we can also retreat. we got to wait three turns, so we got to survive that long. Okay, so we've got two tanks and a mech coming in. And then there's probably one mech for reinforcements, maybe, or something. Okay. Uh, let's focus on the mech first. Uh, these tanks are going to hit this in the back here, but... We could also get into melee range if we want. You can also melee, I think, with melee weapons. And also, if you lose your arms, you can melee enemies too, which is actually really cool to watch. Uh, I'm going to run through the forest here and run behind him. I'm not too worried about these tanks because we've got these buildings in the way, so... Let's try to get up behind this, this mech and fire in the back of him. I am going to drop a shield right here and block against this tank. And then I'm going to fire from behind twice and try to hit this guy in the back actually I might lower this yeah let me drag this down a little bit so I have enough see, boom and that's gonna be fall off is gonna be a little too much I gotta lower move this in a little bit and yeah, let's tighten that up okay I like that and then this unit and yeah, I'm just gonna fire at this guy twice I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit him through this uh, little mountain 
So I'm going to fire once at the beginning and once right here as I come around the back of him. Okay, let's try this. Put up the shield. Boom. Two hits in the back. Oh! Yeah, dude. I messed that guy up. Okay, let's see. How's our... Uh... Alright, our shotgun and shield guy, uh, Polaris, is... I'm going to start calling them by their names. Polaris. Okay, for our... For Polaris, I'm going to have him drop, uh, throw up a shield here and block the incoming attacks from the mech and then attack him in the back as he's running away. The other tanks, their fall off is kind of in the middle, so we might take a few hits in the back here by one of the tanks. For Foxtrot, we're going to have him... Yeah, I want him to run behind this guy. Just start pegging him in the back, too. We'll use the SMG on him. Looks like the SMG um, doesn't have as much heat buildup. I wonder... I wonder if every weapon has different kinds of heat buildup or if it's all the same. Alright, either way, we're gonna come here and just stand there and fire. I'm not too worried about the tanks. Okay, block those attacks. Shot in the back. Oh, good. Good hit. Is he down? Wait, what does that status mean? Yeah, I think he's down. Or inactive. What's that green? Can I target him? Okay, barrier cooldown. Okay, so... Oh, this shows him... Oh, he's gonna eject. Unpiloted walkers lose all motor function and pose significant hazard to surroundings. Oh, they eject, and that's what causes an explosion. I wonder if we should keep firing at him. Something I'm not sure of. Okay, well, Polaris, I'm going to come up here and just shoot this tank twice. Fox Shot's going to run around the side here, and then we're going to drop some attacks on this mech and try and kill him before he explodes. Let's see, that's at three point. He's going to eject at... 3.7, 3.65 or something like that, so we need to kill him beforehand. Alright, let's try that. Oh, you see him? He, he, uh, he ejected. Oh, we got an explosion here. Commander, the base is circled around to the perimeter. We're ready to pick up the squad if needed. Okay, yeah, we're fine. That is awesome. Okay, this guy is killed in action. Okay, so it's telling me the status. Alright, so he's gonna drive an attack. Okay, well, I'll just... Uh, I'm gonna run this way. We'll drop a shield. And then we'll fire at him again. Maybe twice. Okay. Blocking his attacks. Shooting from behind. Oh, yeah. Well done. Victory! Damage taken 283, damage inflicted 927. We kicked ass on that run. So you can see how using the terrain to your advantage really helps. We also got a level 2 tower, uh, S4 tower shield, level 2. Also medium, uh, level 2 parts. Need to check those out. Let's see, site inventory, yeah. Alright, go ahead and uh, salvage. And get our units repaired here. Since we didn't take much damage, I, I guess the more damage you take, the longer it takes to repair your mechs, obviously. Okay, we've successfully salvaged the site. Let's take a look, our pilots are losing their inspiration a little bit. Okay, those are level 2 parts. Let's see if we can uh, change some of these parts. Edit equipment. Okay, need to just kind of figure out how this works. Okay, hold on a second. Left lower body. Oh, okay, this tells you all kinds of stats. Heat capacity, overheat limit. Okay. Heat dissipation. Okay, that's that's what I was looking for. Dude, this, this is so sweet, man. The way they have this UI is so sweet. 
Okay, where's those level two parts? That's what I got. Wait, S4 tower shield. How do I compare that to the one that I have? Wait, let's go back to uh, let's go back to this guy here. He's got on his right arm. Okay, he's got the S4 tower. Wait, no, he's got an S5 firewall. Okay, this is what he's got equipped. This is what is in our inventory. Okay, that's what. Maybe they need to add something that says, like, inventory up here or something, so I can see what the hell... Okay. So if I... What if I hold down? What does that do? Oh, it takes it off. Okay. Alright, so the S... We were using the S5 firewall. Integrity 400. What's the difference between barrier and... Well, this is armor. A shield provides an additional armor pool to the mech. I don't know what integrity does, but I think the S4 tower shield is going to be better. Wait. Oh, oh, over here it's changing stats. Hold on. Let me see. Well, I think the... I think that shield is better. I'm not exactly sure how it's better. I can't really tell. Like, it says level 1.2 here. When I put the S5 firewall on, it says level 1. So I assume that this is a little bit better. It's adding a barrier... Over here, you can see it has 238 to the front. I don't, I don't know if that's the... Or, yeah, to the front of the shield, and 12 as, like, a regeneration or something. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how the... What exactly it's all doing. Integrity is 12. I don't know. Maybe you guys in the comments know if you've played this game. You can help me out with that with UI a little bit. <laughs> But you could also move move around here too, so you can kind of like get a different angle, or you can throw them into uh, this other mode. I like that you can kind of like see their library better. Okay, so we do actually have some better parts. Um, so as I'm scrolling over these, it says like Elbrus 643, 550, 292. So 292 sets my level down to 1.2 but if we add the 643 Elbrus it puts our level up higher so I think that's better yeah uh, 1.5 so I'm, I'm assuming that these are just better grade parts the higher the number is over the name so if we just go 649 that increases our level to 1.7 hell yeah okay seems to be Seems to be working that way. Alright, so yeah, we're level 1 right now with our Assault class. So let's go ahead and equip the better units, uh, or better parts, rather. And yeah, we're up to uh, 1.3 now. So we've kind of increased like our shielding and defense and so forth. Okay, nice. This is so cool. We'll have to continue on, guys, in the next episode. Uh, I'll probably be doing this maybe once a week or something. Uh, just doing this kind of slowly in between Kenshi. And uh, we'll see how far we get. And we'll also see some of the new updates as they come out. Um, since they are coming out once a month. So if you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Take care.